The Edo State Office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in collaboration with the security chiefs, organized a critical stakeholders meeting as a preamble ahead of the September governorship election to discuss issues relating to the guideline and procedure necessary to be observed by all stakeholders and eligible voters come 2024 September 21st governorship election in Edo State. The meeting was an opportunity to remind Edo people on the upcoming continuous voters registration exercise. We want to start major activities like this. The commission, you know, decides to always have a stakeholder meeting, call the stakeholder meeting, a kind of a prelude to the, activity, the major activity. And stakeholders like here, like all of you here, are always part of us, part of this kind of program. That is why we invited the traditional owners, the clergy, members of the Interagency inter Consultative Committee, ISF, you know, the civil society organization which is uh, comprehensively and, and elaborately represented here, the media, youth bodies, and also members of the commission. Everybody is here for this very important function. In a remark, Edo State Resident Electoral Commissioner Dr. Anubum Onoha said stakeholders are the critical factor in assessing how credible elections are in any democratic society. He also said that the voters' registration by the commission is a statutory obligation and so it is important for eligible voters to participate in the electoral process. He therefore called eligible persons to turn up for the exercise, be it to hold between 27th of May to 5th of June 2024. For 2024 a no governorship election, it is imperative to update the register of voters to allow persons who turned 18 years since the exercise was suspended in 2022, as well as those who have not registered before or wish to transfer their registration to their new location to participate in the forthcoming election. Those who are registered voters also have the opportunity of transferring their registration from other states of the Federation to Edo. The meeting also provided an opportunity for participants to ask questions regarding the forthcoming exercise and answers were provided. We are in the annual office now. So, this same meeting should be kind of carried to our people, attended to other local government area, so that they can also benefit. Put us in children can be done in school premises, but it cannot be done in church premises or mosques. And if I pack my mind back at the uh, registration or even voting that I witnessed in the past, they are done in premises shared by schools and churches. You will have the machines are supposed to start by nine. But a machine for whatever reason will not function. I do say that this thing will be replicated in all the local government. That we shall do. The local government the Eagles are enjoying after this meeting to publish the registration center. We are prepared. If there is any problem as a result of the mission, we have a backup. We are prepared. In a keynote address, the Director of Voter Registry Department, INEC Headquarters Abuja, Mr. Tude Gafayo, represented by his deputy, Dr. Mrs. Doris Kainde Nwom, who gave the guideline and breakdown, intimate all participants on the need to kill into rules and regulation during the process. Well, registration is done in person, not by sending your brother, sister, or friend. It's done by proxy. Now, multiple registration is not allowed. The voter can only register once and in one registration center. If the voter resides in more than one constituency, we all have houses in other places, you will choose one place, one location, where you would like to go. That's where you register not in all places that you have This year's INS stakeholders meeting was attended by stakeholders from the three central districts of Edo State, including security chiefs, representatives of the Palace of the Oba of Benin, members of the civil society's organization, as well as the media in Benin City. In Benin, Ebe Igberesi, reporting for BTV News.